Streaming to multiple platforms has never been easier. With Phoebe Mux, you're able to stream to any RTMP destination and multiple platforms at the same time, like Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Twitch, and many others, just to name a few. And the best part is you're not going to put any strain on your computer. You're not going to have to have multiple tabs open. We make it easy for you to be able to manage everything in one place, even the comments. So let's go ahead and dive into my Evie Mux account so you can see why Evie Mux is all you need to produce and manage your live streaming content. So here we are inside of the live stream editor and what we're getting ready to do is go ahead and activate our broadcast channel so you can be able to stream to multiple destinations. So on the top right hand side, you're going to select broadcast channels. This is going to go ahead and bring up a pop up window that's going to say click here to add your first broadcast channel. Now right out of the gate, you're going to see you're going to need to choose a platform and we have Facebook, which gives you an option to be able to stream to a Facebook page, a Facebook group or a Facebook profile. And yes, you can do all three. You can stream to LinkedIn, to YouTube, to Twitch, and a custom destination using the RTMP, which allows you to be able to stream directly to your website or any other platform that you don't see listed here. So what we're getting ready to do first is we'll go ahead and go ahead and activate the Facebook integration. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so to go ahead and set up the Facebook integration on the broadcast channel, we wanna go ahead and select the Facebook icon. Once you do that, it's gonna say, do you wanna stream to a page, a group, or a profile? For this example, I'm gonna go ahead and select group. It's gonna automatically automatically go ahead and get me logged into Facebook. Otherwise you can go ahead and get logged in. It's then going to go ahead and bring up any group that you're associated with. I'm going to go ahead and select EV Mux community. And then we have to take a few steps on Facebook to go ahead and complete the integration. So the very first thing we need to do is open up your group app settings on Facebook. And the easiest way to do that is by clicking this button here. That's going to go ahead and redirect me directly into Facebook, directly into the group apps. And all we want to do is in the search box, we want to go ahead and type in EV Mux. Once you do that, you're going to see the app here selected. You're going to go ahead and select add. And then once it's added in there, what you simply can do is you can go ahead and close out Facebook. You can come right back and click on check if app is installed. You can see here that it is because it's giving you the option now to toggle it on and off. And you can go ahead and now and drop down and you can go ahead and start customizing the title for this event. So you can go ahead and type in, you know, EV Mux demo. This can be the description, which is what's going to be on the post. This is where you can put the details of your live event. This is a demo. Okay, and you can go ahead and hit save. And now that this destination is set up. So what we're gonna do next now is we're gonna go ahead and set up the YouTube integration so you can see how that works. All right, so to go ahead and set up the YouTube integration, we're gonna come back to the broadcast channel. You're gonna see the Facebook integration already listed and we wanna select add new destination. We're gonna go ahead and select the YouTube icon. It's then gonna go ahead and prompt you to go ahead and log into your YouTube channel account. Once you've done that, it's gonna go ahead and ask for permission to be able to go ahead and access your account and live stream on your behalf. So you simply want to select allow. It's then going to go ahead and prompt you to select the channel that you want to go ahead and stream to. We're going to go select the EVMUX test channel. And then there's additional steps that we need to do. Now we need to go ahead and enable live streaming before we do anything. You also need to keep in mind that if this is going to be the first time that you do it, once live stream is enabled, we have to return back to EVMUX but it takes 20 to 48 hours to be approved. So make sure that you're doing this 24 to 48 hours prior to your live stream if you're choosing to do it on YouTube. So let's go ahead and follow the steps prompted here. So we'll open up the YouTube live dashboard. This is gonna go ahead and bring us over to the YouTube Creator Studio. And it's gonna say here, live stream isn't available right now. We have to go ahead and enable it. To access live streaming on desktop, first verify your phone number. So you'll need to go ahead and verify that first and you'll go through the phone verification. So you simply go ahead and enter your phone number here and then select get code. So I'll go ahead and pause the video here and we'll take the next step. All right, and once you've gone ahead and received the code, you wanna hit submit. And now it says, congratulations, your phone number is now verified. So go ahead and hit enable again on YouTube. 
Once you hit enable on YouTube, it's already verified your phone number. And now I can say here, ready in 24 hour. It takes 24 hours to activate your account for live streaming. Once activated, you can go live instantly. So now we can come back to EVMUX and select add new destination. We'll go ahead and select YouTube and we'll go through the same process again. However, this time it's gonna allow us to go ahead and integrate. So we'll select the account that we have set up with YouTube. We're gonna go ahead and select allow. And then it's gonna go ahead and prompt us once again to select the channel that we want to go ahead and stream to. I'm gonna select the EVMUX test channel. And you can see here now, since we enabled live streaming on YouTube, we now see it here as a broadcast option. Now, one of the beautiful things that I want to show you is how you can have different titles and descriptions for each platform, allowing you to have a unique experience for the viewer on that platform. So let's take a look at that now. All right, so to go ahead and customize either Facebook or YouTube, we simply come down to this drop down, and now you have the option to go ahead and select apply all if you want the same title and description across all broadcast channel. So let's go ahead and do that now. You can select apply all. It's gonna say, are you sure you want to apply this title to all broadcast destination? Let's go ahead and say yes. And now we can come to YouTube and you can see here that it's exactly the same. The title is the same as it is for Facebook. But what if you don't want it to be exactly the same? And I recommend that you have a separate experience based on the platform that you're on. So let's say I want on here, I wanna do uh, EVMUX demo version two. And then here I want to say, this is a fun live stream. I can go ahead and do that. So I can hit save and I can come right back. And you can see here that for Facebook, I have EVMUX demo. For description, I have this is a demo. And then for YouTube, I have EVMUX demo version two. And the description I have, this is a fun live stream event. So you can see here that you can also change this to be public or to be unlisted or private. And you can also schedule these live streams for a future date by selecting schedule later. So if that's something that you do want to do once you select that checkbox you can scroll down to the bottom and you can go ahead and enter in your time zone you can go ahead and select an actual date hit continue select the time that you wanted to go ahead and go live and then now you can go ahead and hit save and publish now you can go ahead and schedule the facebook but you can go live on the youtube now or you can go ahead and schedule both so let's say i just want to schedule the facebook and go live on youtube now i'm going to hit save and publish and here on the right hand side you're going to see a new icon letting you know that you have a stream scheduled for a certain time. We can select broadcast channel and you can see here that the one scheduled is Facebook, but not YouTube. So let's go ahead and say that I don't want to go ahead and schedule this for now. So I'll go ahead and delete the post. And what I want to do is that I want to go ahead and stream to both YouTube and Facebook at the same time right now. So to be able to do that, we want to go ahead and hit the go live button. So let's go ahead and do that now so you can see what it looks like on both YouTube and Facebook. So once you go ahead and hit the go live button, you're going to see an option whether you want to also record the session for you to have it internally. Otherwise, you can go ahead and uncheck it and hit start. And this is going to begin the initialization of connecting directly to Facebook and YouTube. So let's go ahead and jump on over to Facebook so you can see what the stream looks like. All right. So you can see here that I'm here on my Facebook group and you can see here that I'm actually live. And then we can go ahead and toggle over to YouTube and you can see here that I'm also live as well. Now, one of the beautiful things that you can do inside of EVMUX while you're live and style casting to multiple platforms is that you can come to the socials and you can take a look here that I can go ahead and put comments from people that are coming in on YouTube or people that are commenting directly from Facebook. And it allows me to be able to manage all the comments at the same time in one a single broadcast. So you can see that with no extra equipment, you're able to broadcast to multiple platforms with a click of a button, allowing your audience to enjoy your content on the platform that they spend the most time on. But it gets better. Go ahead and watch this video where I show you how to manage and produce multiple broadcasts at the same time without leaving the live stream editor. And if you found value in this tutorial and you wanna learn more by improving the quality of your live streams using EVMUX, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. I'll see you in the next one.